Today is Wednesday, October 23rd, 2019, and this is Reflective Journal 4. Um, so, this journal asks what has been my favorite aspect of my clinical experience so far. I would say my favorite part of clinical in general is just coming into contact with a bunch of different sports, some that are like upper body unilateral sports or, you know, lower body sports. Um, I just get a lot of experience with different athletes and I really do like that. But I also get experience with evaluating them and building that relationship. So that's, you know, a plus to have that relationship with your athletes or your patients and be able to reference that as they either continue to get hurt or you continue to see them in and out of the clinic. Um, so that was the why part. Um, so what makes that special for you? Um, really for me, I am more of a uh, hands-on like learner so I when I experience something on my own I tend to remember it uh, remember doing it or remember doing it wrong and then remembering why it was wrong um, so as I get to experience all of these athletes and teams and different injuries I'm constantly perfecting skills, perfecting evaluation process, building relationships. Um, and honestly, building the relationship is probably the most special thing, just because building that trust is super important. Um, so, you know, constantly having the athlete feel like you're, you know, you're there for them. Um, is really important to me um, just because of the trust aspect and uh, having that relationship makes it easier for you to reference their history, um, their recent history, I guess, um, with me, like their recent history to be able to reference that when there's new injuries or there's new questions or, you know, they come in for treatment and they're having X, Y, and Z problems. We'll talk about, you know, what's worked before and what hasn't worked and what they think. Um, so that makes it really easy slash um, just having, I guess, routine athletes come to you because they trust you feels really good. Um, so the last, one of the last questions is, is it helping me reach a semester goal or a personal goal? Um, my Really, this is helping me both because I wanted to, one of my goals was to continue to perfect my, um, like, writing down my evaluation process and, you know, just learning the different techniques. So by getting all of these patient contacts, I'm still learning that, but also it helps me with some of my personal goals that I haven't really added into my semester goals one being you know just building that trust and trying to be you know an outlet for those athletes because it's easier for them if you think about it for them to talk to me because I'm in their age range um I'm going through the same things that they're going through as a college student um rather than them talking to a pre, like, they're certified, so I still refer to my preceptor or their certified athletic trainer, but they open up a lot more to me just because I am in their shoes and I know what they're going through. Um, so it helps my personal goal in that aspect just because I wanted to build those relationships and I also wanted to get better with you know, explaining why I'm doing certain things or 
what a certain treatment does for them and just getting better in terms like that. So really being with everyone and being around multiple sports this semester has really helped me with both. Um, I have blown my semester goals out of the park at this point. Um, so I'm sure there's another journal to talk about that. So I'll leave the details for that one. But yeah, so building those relationships, getting a wide array, array of athletes and sports, as well as seeing patients in a family practice office has just been, it's, I have a whole spectrum of diagnosis and in, injuries and illnesses in my brain. And so, yeah, my brain is just more full than it used to be, which is a good thing. So I would say that it's been beneficial to be with everyone. So that is journal four.